Hi, in this video I'm going to start up my Stronghold uh, 35 upgrade. Just want to make a few remarks about what I have done. Uh, since the previous video the most important thing was uh, to transfer the remaining resources, which was uh, yeah, it was only the food actually, the rest I had already transferred earlier. I used the term transferring and somebody asked that uh, what do you really do but I yeah, just attack my uh, my farms I don't really use the trading post to transfer that is uh, yeah, I feel a far inferior method partly because of the tax but also it's just more uh, a lot more time consuming so when when attacking um, yeah, when attacking your farms for food, uh, there are a couple of things that are important. I'm not really, uh, yeah, maybe doing the best that I uh, I could there. You can look at the the troops, and you will actually find that if you look at the the standard troop load of your troops, that the stables, uh, the cavalry, sorry, from the stables, you see they have a load that is quite low, and that is for. Uh, I believe for both type of cavalry the same, but if you look at the the range, uh, the load is higher, and for the infantry, it is also higher so ideally maybe you should yeah for siege it's even higher but siege is of course also a lot slower so you could opt i think the trade-off maybe use a lot of infantry and bowmen maybe even make some presets i don't do that i don't focus on that but maybe there you could even maximize it more what i do pay quite some attention to is my troop load so if i look at my gear oh sorry wrong one then I have the champion armor enhanced twice for the 33% troop load and the jewel of bounty enhanced one time for the 10.5% troop load so that's giving quite some benefit so look at the the heroes currently I have Ilian the White active because it helps me with the troop upkeep I also have a troop upkeep item act actually active but during the transfer of resources I used my Sir Dinadon for an extra 33% troop load I've also done a lot of research for troop load so this in total yeah I made sure that uh, the transfer of resources were still quite fast when I look at my settings for the talent points yeah, there are two things that are relevant I um, oh let's switch that back um, was just looking around a bit uh, but of course it needs to be on economy for when I start my build so in economy you have a troop load uh, uh, sorry in balance you have the troop load uh, project which I have uh, in my economy setting I have partly in balance which is convenient because then I have uh, troop load 1 and troop load 2 so troop load 2 gives an additional 20% if you go for the yeah for the war tree the benefit is that you have your march capacity increased but uh, yeah for players with a lot of march capacity already the march capacity is an absolute amount of uh, 15000 i believe and then the yeah additional uh, uh, yeah troop load increase of 20% is more beneficial maybe uh, yeah, if you're very serious about this uh, you want to transfer a lot of resources you might consider having a preset that has both the march capacity extension and the troop load extension in that case it uh, yeah the transfer of resources really goes uh, very fast but in my case it was uh, was quite okay still went uh, went quite fast so after that as i mentioned i said it uh, my hero to troop upkeep I also have quite some troop upkeep items actually only used a 25% also still have a couple of 50% that really uh, bring down the troop upkeep upkeep quite a lot but actually not yeah a very big worry I would say now I have a little bit more than uh, 1 million food per hour and I really yeah I, I probably wasted around 10 12 million because I was uh, 
quite early with transferring the food because at that moment I had some time and I had plenty of food in my farms but yeah around 1 million per hour is not a main issue without these two without the hero being active and without the yeah this boost item it was I think 1.9 or something and I have quite a lot of troops so this is actually quite uh, I would say it's quite okay not really a big problem Okay, um, so I have everything ready. Still need a little bit more uh, food. So let's uh, add that already. I'm also going uh, maybe check because I'm also going to do some start up some research right away. One of the bigger ones, troop health, is going to cost me uh, nineteen. Point nine, so okay, that just allows me to. Um, how much do I need here? So let's let's just open twenty one million. That should be a fine. Can just do that from the from these one thousand uh, items. Okay, then I want to maximize my construction speed boost. So if this, just double check that I didn't make a mistake again here. So I have everything set for economy. I think, uh, yeah, because this is quite a lot of time, I'm just going to, I, I want to speed things up anyway, but anyway, I'm going to uh, get a temporary um, a not available uh, get this craftsmanship hammer that is 20 percent don't think there was anything else right uh, sorry um, okay craftsmanship Hammer, take that. And equip that, so that's a little bit extra. Um, you know, I already did, and then yeah, the last thing that is remaining is my talent. So after that, I have to start a few builds. One. Uh, is the of course the big one the stronghold and I do another one and uh, hospital upgrade I'm using two cures for a, a while now want to catch up a bit with my uh, hospitals especially but also uh, at least max out one of my resource buildings of all types okay so here we go oh um, forgot about this one can open that as well might need a bit more Okay, then I have five minutes to complete uh, things. That should be plenty. So 21 days is still quite, uh, yeah, quite a lot, but uh, have to um, have to do with it. Um, I'm going to speed up. Uh, it's now Wednesday, next uh, Tuesday is the upgrade event, so in six days time, so I'm going to use around 15 days, but it shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, I'm going to speed up, plan to do it during the next uh, upgrade stage. So that was the major one uh, for my second queue um, to just do a small one. And then have to switch my hero to oh, uh, to research and then do start a research project as well I also plan to speed this one up it's going to be too uh, much too long but uh, yeah it's going to give me uh, quite a large amount of points so that is nice to have extra just to show off during the 
uh, upgrade stage of the gold event so that I do well for the leaderboard as well. So this, the combination of these two did take a fair amount of my resources, but I still have a lot, like uh, the wood and the iron and the sulfur now running a bit low. Okay, that was it. Um, the plan is uh, has speeding this up during the next uh, upgrade stage. And then um, after that, yeah, I have to start collecting batches. I plan to first go for the for the range, even though the range I still have five levels to go. But yeah, I, I want to. I use most uh, bowmen in my uh, march setup, so I expect that I have to build those or train those the longest. Uh, so better start with those. Uh, the earliest was my thought. Afterwards, the I'm going to take the cavalry and then I'm going to do after that the infantry and only after that I'm going to continue with my stronghold so that's going to take me a lot of time I'm not going to do the siege that seems pretty much um, yeah waste of uh, of the batches uh, maybe I do that after I have uh, upgraded my uh, stronghold to level 40 and all my uh, other three troop training buildings to level 40 that time i might for just for fun go for the seats as well but for now that is uh, far from a pri priority okay i hope this has been uh, entertaining and uh, useful if you have any questions about it or any uh, any comments uh, they're always welcome and uh, thanks for watching the video